Hello and welcome to Risk Arrest Direct, the information and tutorial video series all about the Risk Arrest operating system for the Raspberry Pi. In the previous video, we showed you how to set up a SD or micro SD card for your Raspberry Pi and boot Risk Arrest Direct for the very first time. In today's video, we'll go through the basics of the Risk Arrest user interface and how to set up and customize your new system. If you are yet to set up your own Risk Arrest Direct system, you can download the .img file from www.riskarrestdev.com forward slash direct. We then strongly advise watching back episode one of this series, Getting Started, and follow our video guide. If, however, you are fully up to speed and have a Risk Arrest desktop up and running, then you're good to go. So, let's continue. On booting up Risk Arrest Direct, some users have reported being stuck on the Ethernet network lookup prompt. Normally, Risk Arrest Direct requires a few moments to look up for an internet or network connection. This process is needed if you intend to use Risk Arrest online. However, for some users with the Raspberry Pi Zeros or A Plus boards that lack Ethernet ports, this feature is not so useful. If you find your system appears to be stuck at the boot prompt, you can press the escape key. This will produce a dialog box warning you that the system setup is not complete, with an option to cancel or retry. If you do not require network or internet access, then left click cancel. RiskOS should now forward to the desktop. If you're unlikely to ever require networking or internet access for your Risk Arrest Direct setup, then you can turn off the network boot search function. This in turn will speed up your Pi's boot time. To do this from the pinboard desktop, left double click on the configure app. Any clickable icon, which has an exclamation mark at its beginning, denotes it as a program or app, which are known on Risk OS as plings. From the configuration options, left click once on the network icon. From the pop-up dialog, left click once on the internet icon, then left click again to untick the enable TCP slash IP protocol suite. Then left click the close button. Back to the network configuration dialog, left click save. You will then be asked if you wish to reset your system. For this, we'll left click reset now. This will reboot your Raspberry Pi. On the second startup, you should notice your Pi boots much quicker in less than a few seconds. So with that sorted, let's continue to look at some of the other configuration options. Left double clicking on configure once again, we can set up and customize a number of user options. Left clicking the mouse icon will allow you to set up your preferred mouse track speed and click rate. Left clicking set or cancel to save or ignore any new settings. Time and date can also be set up. Normally this is set via a server if you're connected to the internet. It can be set locally for the machine. But it should be noted that the Raspberry Pi has no battery backup or real time clock by default. So once powered down, Risk OS won't be able to keep the correct time or date. The same issue will arise if you choose to switch off your network internet connection. Keyboards can be fully configured with the ability to switch keyboard layouts depending on where you are in the world. Pop-up lists can be shown by left-clicking once the menu icon next to the text box, with the option selected from the list with an additional left-click. As with all configuration options, Settings can be saved by left clicking set or ignored by left clicking cancel. Your Pi screen resolution and output can easily be changed from the screen option. By default, Risk Arrest Direct will display in 720p or 1080p where available. A host of 4x3 or 16x9 screen resolutions are available along with color options from the corresponding pop-up menus. Screen settings changed here will be saved and used each time you boot up your Pi. The sound option allows you to configure your system's output volume, media controllers 
and the sound used for the system beep or bell. Finally from configuration, we'll look at themes. These allow you to change the look and feel of your RiskOS system, including the fonts used for text, icons and toolbars. Changing a theme may alter the entire look of your RiskOS system, including icons, buttons and symbols. However, everything should still remain in the same place and under the same names. To fully set a new theme, you may need to reboot your Pi. This is done by middle clicking or scroll wheel clicking the blue direct cog icon on the bottom right of the system icon bar and left clicking shut down from the sub menu. From the corresponding dialog, left click the reset button. When RiskOS Direct reloads, you should see your new theme fully loaded. With our basic setup complete, let's have a look at how the icons, folders and windows work under RiskOS Direct. Your main hard disk or C drive is shown as an SD card icon on the lower left side of the icon bar. Left clicking this icon once will open your RiskOS system's main content into a new window. RiskOS windows work very much the same way as they do on other computer systems. The top title bar shows the root directory of the folder being viewed. Left clicking and dragging this title bar area will move the window. Most RiskOS windows have four top bar buttons. Starting from the left, the first button allows any overlapping windows below the current window to be brought to the front. Useful if you have a lot of open on screen at any one time. The second button marked with an X will close the current window shown. On the right hand side, the circle button acts as a window minimizing option, with the triangle being used to expand windows to show all contents. When minimizing a window, instead of removing to the icon bar, as you might expect from Windows or Mac OS, RiskOS Direct will pin the window temporarily to the desktop pinboard where it will appear as an icon. Double left clicking this icon will reinstate the minimized window. So now let's talk about RiskOS Direct's menuing and file management system. Most RiskOS apps and system spaces such as Windows work on a sub-menu based system. So for example, if we want to change the view of these icons to a list format, we first need to middle or scroll wheel click anywhere in the windowing space that's not occupied by an icon. From the sub menu, we can move the cursor to point at the display option and then moving to the right but not clicking will produce an additional sub menu from which we can choose how we want the window to be displayed. For this demonstration, let's left single click on the full info option. As you can see, the contents window now realigns to a small icons listing format. Repeating the process, but clicking large icons will return the window to its default state. The middle click sub menu can also be used to create a new folder. By moving the cursor or pointer over to the new directories option, and then moving to the right will produce a new directory text box where a file name can be typed in. Let's call this folder work. We can then left click the OK button or press enter or return on the keyboard. This will make a new folder which we can double click to open. We can also use the sub menu if you want to change or delete a file or folder. Let's middle click the work folder we just created and from the second menu option labelled DIR work, move the cursor or pointer to the right to produce a directory sub menu. From this menu we can copy, rename, set access privileges or in our case delete by left clicking the delete option. On clicking delete we will be asked to confirm that this is what we want to do, we will left click the yes button to delete the work folder. It is important to remember that unlike other OS's, RiskOS does not have a waste basket or trash can system, so items deleted are wiped from the system and cannot be recovered. Turning our attention to the main pinboard area, unlike other OS's such as Windows or Mac OS, 
RISC OS's pinboard cannot be used as a place to store files or folders. Instead, any item placed here will make a shortcut to where that item originates. For example, if I want to include the store app on the pinboard, I first need to find the app, which is found by left clicking once on the apps icon on the lower left of the icon bar. From this window, scroll down until you see the store pling app. Then with a left click, click and drag the icon to the pinboard, placing it roughly where you want it to go. You'll notice the duplicate icon will snap in line on the pinboard, while the original app remains in place. Any changes to the pinboard, including adding, moving or removing icons will need to be saved. This can be done by middle or scroll wheel clicking any area of the pinboard not occupied by an icon. Then from the save menu option, moving the cursor across to show the save as sub window and left clicking the OK button. If you don't do this save function, any pinboard changes won't be remembered by RiscOS, which will default to its last known saved pinboard when rebooting your Raspberry Pi. Now we've already mentioned Pling apps on RiscOS, but let's have a look in more detail. Let's open Edit, a simple word processor, by double left clicking it. At first, it may appear as nothing has happened. But notice the edit icon has now appeared in the lower right hand side of the icon bar. The majority of RiscOS apps will load into a standby mode, awaiting for your instructions. If we left click this icon once, we will open a new blank text document. Let's type in some text. Now, if we want to save this file, we first need to find the file or directory we want to save to. So we will left click the SD card on the icon bar, then double left click the documents folder from the main SD window to open it. Returning to our edit app text window, we can now middle or scroll wheel click anywhere in the text window and from the sub menu, move our cursor or pointer over to the right of the save option without clicking. We can now press backspace to delete and then retype a file name. We'll call this file hello. Then in a rather unique feature of RiscOS, we left click and drag the file icon to the location we want to save it to. In this case, the documents folder. This will create and save a new text file document called hello. However, remember you can't drag and save new files directly to the pinboard. Returning to our text document, if we now want to make a change, such as adding a new line, we need to save again using the same method as before. Except as the file now exists, we don't have to drag and drop again. And we can just left click OK or hit return or enter on the keyboard to save any changes. Once we're done, we can click the text windows X button to close. However, you may notice the edit app remains open still in the lower right hand side of the icon bar. To exit and quit the app completely, we need to middle click its icon and left click once on the quit option from the sub menu. This will fully close the app and free up any memory it was using. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of RiskOS Direct. If you've been inspired to download and try out the OS for yourself, you can download it for free from www.riskosdev.com forward slash direct. And if you're watching this video on the youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep channel, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Next time, we'll look at the world of gaming and retro emulation with RiskOS including a detailed look at the many supplied games and how to add and run software from the 8, 16 and 26-bit eras, including titles from the iconic BBC Micro to the later Acorn Archimedes. The majority of what you need is already pre-installed and set up as part of RiscOS Direct. <laughs>